Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spentec channel. So in our previous video, which was lecture number 11, we had calculated vapor pressure and boiling point of ethylene. In the problem statement, we had calculated vapor pressure of ethylene at 5 degrees centigrade and boiling point of ethylene at 1 bar. So please watch the previous video before starting this tutorial. At the end of the previous video, I have asked you to calculate the vapor pressure of ethylene at 10 degrees centigrade and obviously, the vapor pressure cannot be computed at 10 degrees centigrade because the critical temperature of ethylene is 9.2 degrees centigrade. So you can compute vapor pressure till 9.2 degrees centigrade but cannot beyond this point. So in today's lecture, we will generate vapor pressure curve for ethylene. And I will start from the same point where we ended the previous video. And we will use case study to generate temperature versus vapor pressure diagram. This was necessary to differentiate these two videos so that you cannot get confused in using the systems. So I will go back to Espen Heises. Now we have been asked to generate temperature versus vapor pressure diagram. It means that temperature is an independent variable and vapor pressure is a dependent variable. Obviously that's how we can generate a curve over here. Currently it seems that pressure is an independent variable because you have entered its, its value and temperature is a dependent variable because by entering the values this value has been computed so what you will do you will remove this one put the value 5 and then you will start the case study now where is this case study this is located over here case studies or you can find here as well so we will click case studies and we will add a case study now it demands independent variables and dependent variables. So find variable, click on it. It's one. It's not feeder block one. It's not product block because it's just a single stream. And scroll it down to find temperature. And you will find temperature over here. For instance, I will go back and remove this 5 and place one bar over here. And I will again go back in find variables 1. I am unable to find temperature over here because temperature has been computed from the given values and it's not an independent variable so for this you have to go back and quickly i will do it come back to it find variables one and temperature click over here and temperature has been selected over here click done in dependent variable click one and you have to find pressure over here click it and in selected pressure has been selected as well so done it so you have specified an independent variable and dependent variable this is the basic start so you can have more than one number of independent variables and more than one number of dependent variables going to case study setup you have to define the starting point the end point and step size remember our video number six where we generated steam table that we had given lower bound and upper bound and there we had given number of increments in number of steps which is this one but here we are giving the value that we want to generate the curve between minus 150 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade with a step size of 10 and as you can see there are total number of steps are 16 case study type is nested sensitivity discrete it's up to you number of states 16 just after this you have to click run this one is reset after run that you want to return the previous value after the run previous value is 5 current value is 5 if i want click reset after run then it will return your values at 0 and if i click reset after run it will give me the value at 5 means the original state of the system will be recovered after this run option so click run and go to results we have received no error it means it has been computed successfully as you can see with varying temperature you can see the pressure is varied until 0 it's 41.09 so go to plots and as you can see the plot has been generated successfully so at minus 104.3 the pressure was one bar so you can see over here that at this point is nearly one bar so that's how you do a case study to analyze the effect of an independent variable on dependent variable this has saved your time because if you wanted to do a case study and if this option wasn't available then what you had to do 
you had to go there and you had to ch change this temperature every time and you had to note it down as well so this has saved your time number one number two you can also take your results to excel as well by clicking send to excel so that's all from my side for today's simulation please do watch the video like the video share with others and subscribe the channel Tech channel till then it's goodbye see you next time